اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ We have now reached to the 18th tradition in 110 lessons for life from the commander of the faithful Imam Ali. May God's peace and blessings be upon him. And today's topic is on moderation in everything. Now as Muslims, we accept and appreciate the fact that we have a balanced religion. It does not go to the extremes on either side of the spectrum. And this is clear and evident from many of the verses of the Quran where Allah repeats this fact. Uh, it is also very, uh, very evident when you look at the teachings as presented by Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. May God's peace and blessings be upon all of them. And you see this in the way that many Muslims around the world, if not the majority, definitely I would say the majority, how they live their lives as balanced men and women who are followers of the religion of Islam. And in today's tradition from the commander of the faithful, we want to see what he has to say and what the commentator has to say on this particular uh, subject and on the particular tradition that we want to reflect upon. So when we look at the tradition from Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, we see that he, we see that he says the following. One who engages in extreme displays of hostility and enmity will fall prey to committing sins. And the person who is restricting himself in this, in the hostility and enmity in their life, will be victorious. This tradition shows us, first of all, that Islam considers a balance in life, dealing in everything in moderation, to be a very important and integral part of the life of a believer. Even, in fact, when it comes to dealing with our enemies, with our opponents, with the, those who have transgressed against our rights, we are still shown and we are uh, commanded within the religious teachings to be moderate with how we deal even with our enemies. So if Islam is such a precise religion that even in dealing with those who are trying to harm us, those who are trying to uh, wreak havoc upon us, maybe to try and take our life, if Islam shows us that even in such a critical situation, a critical juncture that we have to deal even with those individuals, with our adversaries, with uh, with moderation, then you can imagine, and we can imagine what it says about everything else in life, that there needs to be a sense of balance, a sense of being moderate in everything that we do within this religion. We see that this balance, this moderation that we have in our lives is not just for us as human beings, not just as, uh, for us as believers, but rather that Allah has shown to us within the Quran and within the universe that we are existing within that he has put moderation and balance within everything. If we reflect upon the creation of the universe and how the universe works, how our solar system is working, how we are on planet Earth, that third planet from the sun, that we also are living in, 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 a, in an era, which an area rather, which is moderate. We're not so close to the sun that we would be burnt and that their life could not exist. Nor are, we, nor are we so far away from the sun as other planets in our solar system are that we would not be able to again exist because of the coldness. Rather, we are right in the middle. We are at an equ equitable area on the, uh, in, in the plane of a solar system. And so even if we look at the way Allah has created the earth and all of the celestial bodies, we see that we are living on a planet which is, again, a moderate planet compared to, again, to the other extremes of, let's say, Mercury or Venus or the other side as, as Neptune and, and Saturn and, and Jupiter. So we're in the middle in terms of the solar system where that balance, we're at a moderate level. And this should be an understanding for you and I as well that as Muslims, we also have to act with moderation in every act that we perform in our day-to-day -day lives, including, again, again, as we see in this hadith, including how we deal with our enemies, with our opponents, those who, don't, uh, who, are, who are trying to do harm or evil to us. We see two verses of the Quran, many verses of the Quran, but two which I want to reflect upon right now. 
which again show us that we are a balanced, moderate nation. In chapter number 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 143, Allah says, ummatan wasata." Indeed, we have made you a middle nation. We are, you are a nation which are on the middle ground. And the commentator of the hadith mentions that this middle ground, this middle nation means we are moderate. We don't go to the extremes on either end. And uh, again, we reflect on the moderation within Islam, even when, it looks, when we look at charity, we are told in the 17th chapter not to give everything away in charity, nor to be miserly and give nothing. Again, a moderate ground that we have to take. And also, and we'll end with this in the Quran, a verse which we read at least 10 times a day. Every Muslim in their daily prayers is obligated to recite Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter of the Quran. And in that particular surah, in that particular chapter, we say, again, minimal of 10 times a day, إِحْدِنَا الصِّرَاطِ mustaqim To keep us, to guide us, to assist us to stay on the straight path. The straight path, again, is, is a path which is of neither of the two extremes, neither excessiveness nor at the other end of the spectrum. So even our prayer that we make 10 times a day is for us asking Allah to keep us on that middle path that path where there are no extremes. There is no uh, extremism, nor is there any sort of, uh, you know, complete lack of, uh, of religious teachings, but rather it's something in between that we can maintain our life in this transient world. We can follow our religious precepts and teachings and that we can move forward in life being of individuals, of Muslims who are moderate in everything that we do and in everybody who we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. We ask Allah to grant the Muslim community around the world the ability to be moderate, to be Muslims who follow the middle ground, who don't go to extremes on either spectrum, either end of the spectrum, and that we can be those who follow the true teachings of the Quran and the guidance of Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. May God's peace and blessings be upon all of them. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.